holidays. Hey y'all, it is Thursday. So just some advice. Um, I have essential oils. I have a lot of essential oils. For your little one and even from yourself, just do a little dab, one or two, on your sleeves like this, especially for the little ones. Because JB, a lot of times, he'll rub his nose like this. And that way they get a whiff of lavender oil or lemon oil. Um, and it'll just affect their mood. So I like to put some. Come here, baby. He's been crying this morning because he just, girl, we ain't gonna get into that. Come here, sweetheart. Does it smell good? Okay, and give me your arms. Okay, give me the other one. Give me the other one. Now smell it. Smells good, make you feel better? Yeah, oh, don't cry, baby. All right, y'all, I am just drop off JB. Um, oh, my workout pro partner canceled our first workout together, but she's sick. Y'all gotta do something with this lighting. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I finally, I have a workout partner who is a true workout partner, meaning she needs to lose weight, and I need to lose weight, because look, I told y'all I had another mom who was like, you should come work out with me, and she already fine. Like, she does 15 minutes of cardio and then do weights because she doesn't have, she's just maintaining. She ain't got nothing to lose and she's fine. So I'm like, no, I need someone who has minimum 15 to 20 pounds to lose, <clears throat> like me, give or take five or so pounds. So, um, another mom was like, we should start working out together. And so, but, and I'm like, yeah. So, but she's sick. And we were going to work out at her apartment complex, which is ironically the apartments that I used to stay in out here. So I already know what the gym is like because I used to go in that gym every now and then. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my battle ropes this morning. Um, and that is a workout. Like literally, I was only out there the first time, even though it was the first time, I was out there working out for, I'm telling you, 10 minutes. A 10 minute workout with battle ropes is intensive it really was so y'all it's beginning to wrap up the end of the year and it's kind of slowing down at work finally um i'm just tying up some loose ends you know i'm still working tying up some loose ends but what i'm going to do this morning is go to the dollar tree to find some items for jb's teachers um Christmas gift. So I like to create what's called, at least for teachers, depending on the position you're in, I like to create what's called an emergency kit for teachers. And so I'll put things in there like Advil, wipes, chapstick, um, candy, hard candy, your favorite candy, um, a school item, you know, stuff like that for the teachers themselves. And, you know, lotion, maybe some lipstick, lip gloss. Maybe you need to go somewhere after, right after school. You don't have time to go home to brush up your makeup. And I know a lot of teachers have stuff like this in their, you know, personal items at, at school. But maybe you just need some extra stuff. So, just go to, to the Dollar Tree, girl, and get some stuff. And, yeah, um... It's gonna be a busy week. Like I said, it's Thursday. And y'all, my vlogs for Vlogmas are one to two days behind. Y'all, my eye has been twitching. I don't know what's going on. For the past two days, it's been, uh, actually like week almost, it's been this eye. And I haven't had my eye twitch like this in years. So I know it's cause I'm, it's good stress. I'm on a, I'm under some stress, so. Um, try to eat a banana with for the potassium. Try to eat a banana every morning. Yeah, see, it's, it's dropping now. So, yeah, that's going on. And what else? Tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to be having lunch with JB at school tomorrow. And, yeah, y'all, let's just go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree. I was wanting to find some new cleaning products. Um, the house cleaner only comes now like every four to five weeks, especially since we need those coins for other stuff. I mean, it's $100, and then I tip her on top of that. And so, yeah, I, I gotta buy Christmas presents, girl. Um, I do have a sponsored ad, or what, what am I trying to, trying to say, y'all? I am now a Red by Kiss ambassador. I don't like to announce stuff all the time. Yeah, I'm a Red by Kiss ambassador, so they're sending me some stuff this week. I will probably review that next week, um, which means I'm going to be taking these this stuff out soon. Next year, you guys, I will be having a end of year review video talking about you know how things went this year, what to expect for next year. Um, I'm telling y'all, this right here is going to be next year. And when I'm going to be doing reviews, it's really not going to be reviews. There's going to be comparison videos of products I've already reviewed. Good morning. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. y'all I am a klutz okay I'm here to get several things the main band JB's teachers uh, gift let me I oh, everything's so pretty <gasps> -la 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 -la. sorry y'all I love this time of the year so I I, I yeah uh, Hmm, this is really pretty, but she doesn't, what I'm giving her will basically, ooh, there's two, these are two, so let me get both of these, just in case, yeah, all right, and I just got an email from the teacher that they're having an ugly sock exchange, so I'm going to get some socks here, of course, I'm looking at the stickers, and these stickers are bomb, I did go ahead and get some tape, um, let me show y'all the craft section. They repark it and it is awesome. Okay, so first of all, it starts here. You have your florals. And I got stuff for my wedding here and my she room. Okay, you have this side, you have glass. I was telling my friend Robin, like for her wedding, she should definitely get some centerpieces here because they're on a the budget. Hey, come here to the Dollar Tree, get your centerpieces. And then on this side, so now the other side of the craft start right here. Look at this, y'all. They have felt. I got my felt here. They have craft beads. This stuff is new, meaning it just came within the past three or four months. And yeah, glue sticks craft glue, pom-poms, painting supplies. Look at all of the canvases. And then now we have paint. This is a bomb deal. For a dollar, yeah. And then wood, cutouts, paint brushes, adhesives, um, yeah. So I'm excited about being off and doing some things for JB. I think the Christmas socks are at the front, but I'm just checking the scarves and stuff. All right, let me show you what I got. Uh, blah, 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 looking at email. Yeah, I had to tell Ms. Robin today when we were dropping off the kids, she was telling me she's sick, and I said, you know what, you're, it's, it's rough being sick this time of the year, y'all, and honestly, um, besides my asthma, I haven't had a cold, girl, I can't tell you when the last time I've been sick. Well, first of all, because I don't really go anywhere, but this is the only reason why I tell y'all, I'm a germaphobe, hand sanitizers. Um, whenever I get in my car, the first thing I do is take this out and use a hand sanitizer. Like literally, if I'm shopping, if I'm touching a kiosk, if I'm at the gasoline station, yeah. And I use my nails to touch stuff instead of my fingertips. And so, yeah, so y'all, I, by the grace of God, like I said, I have not been sick since 2004. 14 2014 is when the last time I've been really sick any other type of illnesses have been due to asthma Or asthma related so let me show you what I got a little mini Dollar Tree haul with with the intention of Mostly getting stuff for his teacher now. I'm gonna go ahead and open me up something to eat I am hungry. What time is it? nine o'clock I'm eating a protein meal bar chocolate peanut butter I normally don't go for these things because I don't believe in eating artificial protein, but I'm hungry. It's okay. I mean, it's all right. Mmm. Girl, I got a JB his ugly socks for, um, they're having a holiday party. Girl, please. A dollar. I did get, them, get in that big bag because I got a lot of stuff. But the tissue I have at home, tissue, the tissue I have at home won't match. And I'm like that, y'all. I think I have white, 
but I think most of it is red. I'll look at it when we get home, okay? Um, all right, so as far as snacks, again, this is a teacher emergency kit. As far as snacks, I got her some M&Ms. M&Ms are her favorite candy, apparently. And the Nature Crunchy Oats and Honey, there's four bars in, in here. Um, almost 200 calories, that's good. That's a quick, you know, and that's probably due to the, um, there's probably some nuts in here, <clears throat> which can be high calorie. Got her some hair ties. She has medium length hair, but this is just quick to get her hair out of her face, out of the way when the kid's getting on her nerves. Speaking of getting on her nerves, I got her some Advil. And they have these really cute roll on um, lavender oil. They had it in lavender oil. They had uh, tea tree oil and they also had peppermint oil. I may come back in a couple more days and get a couple of those and just gift them out to people. That's a good deal. Ingredients are made with 100% um, pure lavender oil and sweet almond oil. And this is 100% pure and natural oils. So when it says stuff like this, they probably used probably eight to 10 drops of lavender oil. Cause that's what I do. I have roll-ons at home, but I have my own mixture. But I think I may go back and get a couple of these, like seriously, and give them to some moms. Like I'm not even kidding. I think that's a good gift. I got her some Dove Intensive Care Treatment Lotion, um, disinfecting wipes for her desk <laughs> and the kids' faces, some deodorant, okay, um, eyeliner. Girl, you never know. You may have to go somewhere and do a little touch-up, you know. Probably should have got her some blush, too, but I don't, I don't know her style. She seems very, you know... I got some earphones for me, and then I got her some highlighters. So yeah, I think that's a really cute, you know what I mean, um, teacher emergency kit, some stuff she can leave at, at school. And yeah, all right, y'all, I'm gonna get ready to go home. Um, I already planned out my Christmas dinner, and we will be having traditional um, Southern food. Yeah, I was laughing my buff off looking at I guess Leia's mom has moved. They moved to Washington, D.C. And when you, first of all, during the holidays, when you're in the South, they put out buckets of certain food. We used to eat a lot of different food. I didn't eat it. I did not partake in it because I was like, that's disgusting. But my family eats an assortment of porks. I mean, like, literally, literally, all the types of pork. So, especially in East Texas and all over the South, you'll see buckets. You know what I'm about to get to? Those big red buckets of chitlins, which your intestines was, I'm like, no. Chitlins, you can find. Um, a lot of smoked meats. Um, neck bones. All types of uh, pieces of the hog. And hen is really pop, you know, those type of meats. When I moved out here, I could not find hen. First of all, chitlins, yeah, rarely would you find that. Um, limited hams, but very limited in your ham selection. And so I mostly use hen when I make my dressing. I use the hen broth and I shred up the hen. I won't be able to find a hen, y'all. And hopefully, maybe I'll I'll find one at Walmart. When I first moved out here, I, I found them at Walmart. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the little Cornish game hens. I'm talking about the big, juicy hens. Are juicy, big, juicy hens, and that it just makes really good broth, right? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. There's different ways to cook stuff, but we cook things very simple. Like I said, I know some people are like, oh, it would be so much better if you add cream cheese. It would be so much better if you add cream with mushroom and cream with... Why? They didn't have that back then. The dressing that we make is like a hundred-year-old recipe. I'll show y'all. I already have a video on it. But no, there's no need. If you do it right, if you add enough liquid and you season your food properly... I mean, you really don't have to add all that. I mean, to me, it's just extra calories and extra fat. Especially, y'all, that cream with chicken cream with stuff, I have not cooked with that stuff since I was in my early 20s. I know how to make my own roux from scratch. I know how to use creams, you know, heavy cream to make it taste like it's a cream or something. You know what I mean? That's all it is, you know, is what you're trying to do is basically add it and make it, make it moist and make it more flavor. Add some more seasoning. Add some chicken stock or chicken bouillon. 
Like literally there's ways to get around it. And that stuff, <clears throat> I would rather use real butter and extra herbs or whatever than to use that canned cream of stuff. Cause that's the, it's full of what it was in it, what's in it. You know what I mean? So no, I don't want to eat that stuff. But if you do it, you know, power, more power to use your household, your body. I'm not going to tell anyone how they should cook. I'm just saying what I do in my household, if that makes sense. So let me tell y'all what I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm making smothered chicken wings in the oven. And I like to do what's called flash fry my food real quick and then bake it. So that way all that oil isn't seeping in the meat. I don't even bread some of my food sometimes. It just is what it is. I don't, yeah. Um, I will depending on what it is, don't, don't get me wrong. Like if I'm making chicken tenders, absolutely I'm gonna bread it and deep fry it, but we don't eat that all the time either. Um, so yeah, then I'm making collard greens. I'm gonna do those the traditional way without any pork. My, my husband doesn't eat pork and we really don't miss it. You know, I will use um, chicken stock sometimes to help, you know, add more flavor. Um, what else? Butternut squash, um, dressing of course. <clears throat> homemade cranberry sauce. I know people still like the canned stuff. And let me tell you, when you make it right, homemade is bomb.com. Um, devil's food cake. And there's something else I'm making. Now, I am going to have both rolls and cornbread because I can't have greens without cornbread. Cornbread. I may do hot water cornbread, but I really make me some nice fluffy cornbread and have some rolls too. I know we'll be in greedy. But that's it, y'all. <sighs> All right, y'all. I since it was so slow today at work, I went ahead and went and got my nails done. Isn't this pretty? Very pretty holiday colored, y'all. Oh, and I stopped by Ross and got my husband some Burberry cologne. Um, that's our my Christmas present for him. Um, y'all, Tina, you gotta, you know, stand firm and some stuff when people be trying. She's like, um, you bring your little boy here tomorrow, I give him, um, I pay him nail, give him free design. I'm like, do what? You you bring him here tomorrow. Uh, are you at your rabbit ass mind? You're not gonna be painting my son's nails and putting no design on them. Let me say, let me say this. No, I don't believe that you doing that is gonna cause your child to be gay or anything, but I don't want my son's nails painted and designs on his nails. And matter of fact, JB is so with it that he would think that's weird. No, anyway. So, um, whew, y'all, it is getting crazy, crazy, crazy. Of course, now they're having a holiday party next week. Ciao. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to do that. You know, I'll participate as far as, you know, bringing something, but normally I volunteer. I'm not gonna be able to do that at all. Um, oh, I need to get this off. Cause this is dangerous. If JB get a hold of this, yeah, it's because it's funny. I need to straighten up around the house. That'll help me with my anxiety a little bit. Just go through every room, and make sure make sure things are in order. Thank God I put on some soup yesterday. I'm just gonna warm that up and eat that for leftovers. I'm gonna be making something new this weekend. Um, for it looks like it's gonna rain, y'all. For Saturday, I'm gonna be making Nan pizza. So tomorrow, I'm hoping tomorrow will be as quiet as it was today. Um, tomorrow is going to be, um, since I got my nails done today, tomorrow I need to go grocery shopping after I drop JB off and I'm going to be having lunch with him tomorrow. So yeah, I'll probably go to Chick-fil-A and get me something. Of course he wants Raisin Cane. Child, why does he not want Raisin Cane? So yeah, I'll get myself Chick-fil-A, get him some Raisin Cane, have lunch with him tomorrow, come back here and just chill out. Um, I may do a little bit of organizing. I have certain areas that I want to organize before the new year. Organize my purses, go through all my purses, clean stuff out, get rid of receipts, go through the kitchen drawers, organize. I plan on doing that between now and before Christmas, basically. I want to do all that before Christmas. And just do a little bit of everything every other day. It don't have to be all in one day. So let me hush up and get things together. I'm excited. I'm anxious, but I'm excited. I love this time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the Oh, and I've been watching movies on YouTube, um, Hallmark movies, Christmas movies. I watched one, and it wasn't necessarily a Christmas movie. It was called A Love Letter with Masterpiece Son and Rudy from the Cosby Show. I don't know her real name. It was cute. It was a good, clean, non-ratchet 
um, African American movie. I love it. I love Christmas movies, you guys. And yes, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I will watch A Christmas Story probably four or five times. Because that's just how it is. I love this time of the year. I really do.